Hey, good afternoon, everyone, and greetings from the very busy world's largest Bucky's here in Sevierville, Tennessee. This just opened up recently, and it's right off of Highway 40. As soon as you get into the, the Pigeon Forge Gatlinburg area, it's one of the first things that you will see, and a lot of people are stopping. Yes. I, I knew this was going to be popular. I didn't yes. know if I was going to be this popular. It, it did take quite some time to find a parking space. Yes. <laughs> All right, Molly, hit us with those stats. Um, well, this opened up on June 26th at 6 a.m. It, it has 120 gas pumps and- And they're uh, all full, I think. Yep, yep. Uh, 250 foot car wash, which I'm not sure is open right now. No, I think they're, it's under construction over there. Yes. It's 74,000 square feet. However, it's not going to be the largest soon. Yeah, it, it's only got a, like the record for less than a month or so. Yes, it's going back to Texas is the largest one. And it beats them by 1,000 square feet. 25,000. All right, well, we're gonna go in and show you off all the food and merchandise and fun that's here at Bucky's. And like all Bucky's, they do have a statue out front. I think this is a more modern and nicer statue it is. It's than a lot of the Bucky's have. Pretty big. Yeah. Outside the store, there is a giant inflatable Bucky the Beaver, but uh, his proportions don't quite seem right. Yeah, yeah. Much he's, bigger on the bottom than the yeah, top. Yeah, he's, he's a thick boy. Kick off our Bucky's adventure by talking about the food. Uh, they're most famous for their brisket, which I do like, but I don't love. Some people love it. I think it's like very solid fast food kind of uh, barbecue. Sausage on a stick. I have always tried that. Sandwich. We have not tried that. No, we tried a lot of these over yeah. the, the course of the time. And that's always been on my list of something. Yeah. I think they're most famous for their, their brisket sandwiches. You can see them, the fresh biscuit over there getting chopped up. I really like their chips. You get like these freshly made potato chips right there. Yeah, those, those are very are good. Really, really good. This uh, like kielbasa or sausage sandwich you're making, that looks pretty good. That is. Currently in my favorite section of Bucky's, the bakery. And I like this because they have kolaches. Now they've got dessert kolaches. But what I really like, I think it's some of the best deals in the store, is they can do heat up. Like that sausage and cheese collage is so good. It is. The boudin collage, also very good. I will say not the biggest fan of the jalapeno cheddar sausage biscuit, but that sausage and cheese collage, that is what I'm getting right now. The second favorite thing to eat here at the Bucky's is the beef jerky. They've got all different types of beef jerky. I think uh, we've had most of them. I think so. I really like steakhouse, I like teriyaki, I like the cherry maple. Was not a big fan of the turkey. Food over here. Texas cheesesteak burrito, veggie burrito, beef burrito. We had the beef burrito, it was just okay. Chicken fajita was spicier. Yes, it was. And now fried chicken sandwich as that well. Looks good. Right in the middle of the store, there are an order area where you can order a couple different things grilled cheese, chicken tenders, hot dogs, fries. Out of those, I would definitely go with the chicken tenders. I think I've had everything on the screen, yeah. and the chicken tenders are the winner. Glazed nuts and glazed cashews and almonds. Sweets area, they have 22 different types of fudge. That is a lot of fudge. I like this though. You can buy a variety box for $15 and get most of the flavors in there. There's a giant soda wall for $1.39. You can get a massive soda. And they do have like seven ups, but they've also got their own line of all kind of old timey sodas. Full food area. And Molly, you like these quite a bit. Smoked cheddar cheese cups, Monterey cheese cups, pepper jack cheese cups. I think the pepper jack is my favorite one. You got pimento cheese, and then different types of sausages you could buy, like little meat plates as well. Oh, that's pretty good. Dried beef and pork sausage with cheese and pretzel. Yeah, yeah. A variety of cold sandwiches. That looks pretty good. The roast beef looks good. Yeah, no, that looks really good. And then you got banana pudding, key lime pie, and that chocolate pie cup. And then some right now we're my favorite dessert here at Bucky's. These are little cups of chocolate chip or birthday cake cookie dough. They're so good. They're, they're really good. Man. And it's interesting, they're right next to the super healthy stuff. Yes. <laughs> Looks like you've got chocolate chip cookies, brownies, or like a giant glazed cinnamon roll. Also very interesting, you have the pecan cream wheats. 
big section for coffee, big section for ices. Ices very popular today on a hot day. This has loads and loads and loads of snacks. Ah, garlic parmesan pretzel sticks. We've had that before. It's yep. good. Smoked gouda pretzel sticks, yellow mustard pretzel sticks, dill pickle pretzel sticks, cinnamon sugar pretzel sticks, kettle corn. Let's see what do we got down here. Caramel, caramel corn. Three different types. Yeah. A lot of snacks in this general area here. I think a lot of people are going to stock up on snacks to fill their cabins with or yes. their hotel rooms with once they get into town here. You've got some uh, like kind of onion ring type snacks and then you got some weirder stuff. Pickled quail eggs, pickled okra, pickled asparagus or green beans. Molly, this is not a meat section at all. No, no. You got garlic stuffed olives on the bottom. There's a whole area dedicated to different types of jams. Strawberry banana, prickly pear, pepper jelly, peach jalapeno, orange marmalade, blackberry preserves. They also have pork rinds. Chili limon pork rinds. The Bucky's take on the traditional uh, animal crackers is adorable. Healthier snack, you got a whole bunch of different types of Bucky's dried fruit. My sister loves dried fruit. It does make sense that they sell all these chips and snacks, but they've got a variety of Bucky's salsa for sale. Against the front wall of the store, you've got all sorts of things. A whole section for gummies. Gummy bears, gummy butterflies, candy belts, old timey stuff like the saltwater toffee, cherry sours, these weird wax bottle things. We got more dried fruit, milk chocolate raisins. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Trail mix would probably be very popular here. Oh, yes. We got the Bucky's Nuggies. And then a whole bunch of nuts. So chocolate covered nuts or non chocolate covered nuts. For $4.79, you could take yourself a big old thing of mini cookies. I believe the most famous snack at Bucky's is the beaver nuggets. And yep. it's kind of hard to describe. It's kind of like a caramelized cheese doodle. Mm -hmm. And I don't like them at all. I don't mind them, but my favorite is the chocolate covered ones, which I'm not seeing right now. No, but they do but have really good. Uh, beaver nuggets with sea salted caramel or cinnamon sweet flavors. But yeah, they're very popular, but not with me. Also not popular with me, brittle. They've got a lot of brittle. $1.59, you got a uh, Buggy's take on Cheetos. Different flavors. I do give them credit. They've got fun names for pretty much everything here, like Nutty Bites. So on the walls, they do have a whole bunch of stuff, just like you would find in a normal gas station. You know, your beers, your sodas, your Gatorades and more. There is also a large section of snacks. It's not necessarily, you know, Bucky snacks. This is just like your traditional name brand stuff, whether it be Fritos, Doritos, Pringles. Combos. Uh, combos, Bugles. The wonderful, wonderful pretzel crisps. I love these snacks, especially the buffalo wing flavor. An aisle for all sorts of camping supplies. I should have gotten that. Yeah, you've gotten big quite a bit on this trip. And also your kind of your, your gas station stuff, like if your car needs oil or WD-40, that kind of stuff you could buy over here. There's some kind of sweet treats here, like a Bucky's pecan log. I like these. Ooh, dark chocolate caramels. That, that looks good. Bucky's has their own line of hot sauces and then seasonings their own barbecue sauce. Going through the main entrance of Bucky's. All your food and your snacks, they're going to be on the left-hand side. The restaurants will be dead ahead. And all the merchandise is going to be over there on the right-hand side. And Bucky's, though, they're known for their merchandise. That's where we're going to show up in this next segment here, including you get yourself a plush Bucky. And man, they've got a lot, a lot of merchandise. A lot of it is seasonal kind of stuff, so they've got their summer lineup right now. We're recording this on July 5th. So you're gonna see a lot of summertime stuff as we wander around. Like they've got you know, swim trunks over here. Cover up things. Let's see, we got Bucky's jewelry. jewelry. A 
Bucky swim trunks for adults or children. All righty, let's see what else. That, that does say Bucky's on it, but there we go. We have a tank top with a little Bucky's. Oh, that, there we go, lots of little kids stuff. I guess we're in like the little girl area. It is uh, very crowded here. I'm not gonna point out every piece of merchandise as I do want to do some things in town, but it's not just <laughs> visiting Bucky's. the giant gas station. I like the towels. The towels the over here. Really nice. Yeah, you got look at this stuff like the cuddle buddy kind of guy. Yeah, those are nice. Along with the towels. And the giant head of Bucky. Yep. You get a Bucky's phone holder. A big old bag, a yeah, tank top. That's awesome. That's really yeah. nice. Mike, can you grab one of those phone holders? I'm gonna go over here and look at this donut merchandise. Ah, uh, do not donut disturb. It's fun. That's lovely. I mean, that's just adorable. Simply adorable. Uh, airplane. Yep. Yeah, that would be. That would work, actually. That would. So Bucky's pants. Bucky's adult t-shirts. Ah, Bucky's tights. I guess that would be what those are. Uh, a whole section for Bucky's socks or Bucky's bow ties. Oh, all socks. Yeah, see? Yeah. Um, little kids' Bucky's pants. The onesies. The onesies. If you want to be a true super fan, you could wear that and sweat to death here in Pigeon Forge. <laughs> Molly, are these tights? Is that what I'm looking at here? Leggings. Leggings, okay. I right, get the classic Bucky's hoodie. It's like a Bucky's bucket hat. I like that. Like the big kind of sun hat. I, I use those on the cruise ship private islands because I'm mm -hmm. well pasty pale and that really helps not get super sunburnt. Some Bucky's blankets, a travel mug. Now, with each Bucky's, when you go to a different one, they'll have stuff for that state. Like obviously this is Tennessee, so they're gonna have some Bucky's Tennessee stuff in this one. Order 1,000. Order 1,000. Now I believe this corner of the store, I don't really have to show up quite as much because you do get into just general stuff. Like not necessarily Bucky's stuff. You could buy frozen stuff and pony stuff and car stuff. And all sorts of Disney princess stuff. I have a friend. Chickens. Oh, chickens. I have a friend that collects a shirt. Oh. And there's always a shirt that says, like, the, ci uh, the city. Yep. In the town. I'm sure we'll find them at some point. You got coolers. I really like the uh, the Bucky's cooler bags against this back wall. Yeah, those are nice. I also like how it tells you, hey, you could fit 24 cans in there. <laughs> More sorts of camping and cooking stuff over on this side. Bucky's like travel mugs. Or look at the kids' trays. Those are cute. I'm not 100% positive what the splash toy is, but it's uh, that's four bucks. You get some tie-dye baseball shirts. Uh, this corner here is just for kind of more general stuff, very uh, country general store kind of feel. Yeah. Uh, that, that would be very, well, I guess not. There's not really any sand here in, in Gatlinburg. <laughs> no, but it's summer. It is summer. Um, okay, here, I mentioned the Tennessee stuff earlier. We have definitely found that area. So there you can get all of your Bucky's Tennessee stuff. I think that one is my favorite, yeah, where he is okay. playing a guitar. Look at the little hats for little kids. And this then you can buy your own Bucky's competitive washer game. You spend a lot of money at Bucky's. You could buy yourself a smoker or a big old fire pit. Which is great for this area. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm guessing this is like a, yes, this is where you put your, like, your firewood on a uh, fancy rack. A Bucky's tailgate chair for $35 or the adorable kids chair that for 15. Is a folding table, that's that's pretty nice. That's yeah. $25. I like the rack, the two. Yeah, we just came from uh, Asheville where we saw a lot of people during tubing. the 4th of July holiday tubing. That looks like a pretty nice tube. Tube's not bad, uh, $16. I like the Bucky's sports cabana as well. $30, not bad. Bucky's is hiring and they seem to pay really well. Like that's a, 
some solid, solid money these employees get. There you go, that's it for the world's largest buckies. I for will the next for the next month or month. so. <laughs> um, I will say if you're planning coming anytime soon, it is rather chaotic up here. Uh, they do not have enough parking, and it is it's you know very 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 crowded. And we're, they are, are doing construction on the other side right now, so yeah, the lanes are kind of wonky. the Bucky's is going to be the first phase of this 407 Gateway to Adventure project. It's going to include a big uh, shopping and dining area as well as attraction by the folks over at Putafu. Very excited for that. Uh, I love stopping at Bucky's on road trips. I don't think I need to come back to this one. Is it really I have Gallenberg and Pigeon Forge as a destination for me. Like when we're driving up here, I love we come from Orlando to Gallenberg, stopping at the one in Water Robins about halfway. Love stopping there, gas up the car, use the bathroom, get, get a Good cup cheese. full of cheese. Um, but there we go. Yeah, if you have any questions or comments about Bucky's, let me know in the comment section below. If you got your go to food, let me know that as well.